Keeping hope alive tonight, families gather to remember thousands of missing children and adults all across America. A handful of the missing are names you'll recognize from right here in Central Florida. Trenton Duckett, Haley Cummings, and Jennifer Kessie. Just, and as well as uh, Kaylee Anthony, just to name a few, at least two different vigils for hope were held across Central Florida today. One in Leesburg, another in Lake Mary. Fox on Fox 35's Valerie Boy live in the newsroom. Valerie, tonight's vigil really focused on the most recent case of missing five-year-old Haley Cummings. Yes, it certainly did. In fact, it's been more than three months since Haley Cummings went missing from Putnam County. And tonight, George and Cindy Anthony took part in this vigil, hoping to help Haley's family and others around the country. It's a show of support from one mother to another as Cindy Anthony greets Crystal Sheffield. The bond they share is a pain deep inside that only those who have a missing child can feel. It brought back more emotion than what I had anticipated, um, but it's okay. That emotion's all right because that's how we help other people. While George and Cindy Anthony still mourn the death of their granddaughter Kaylee Marie, they speak at this vigil to make people aware of missing children nationwide. Coping with someone missing is the most gut-wrenching, sick, open wound feeling that you could ever, ever have. Haley Cummings' grandmother, Marie Griffiths, agrees. I can't explain to you the hurt that's in here, that's right here, is, is aching constantly. Marie's daughter, Crystal Sheffield, is devastated. It's been 96 days since her daughter, Haley, was reported missing. Whoever has her, I know you're watching. <laughs> Haley, I love you and I will never give up on you. <laughs> Seconds after that, Crystal starts to collapse, and it's Cindy who knows exactly what to do. I've been there. I mean, people put chairs underneath me many times. Out, she just, she falls apart. She just, she can't take the stress. It just is awful. That's why Haley's family is glad to have help from Kaylee's family. So to have them here with you tonight? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. I didn't know anybody was going to be here other than us. And Haley's family says they're frustrated with the dying media coverage and wish investigators would do more to find her.